is Vijay from CVT 100 and in this all important session we are primarily going to discuss two things. One, the new structure of the English language test in CUET UG 2023 and two, at least 45 questions that appeared on the first day of this test in different shifts. These 45 questions will help you understand the new structure of the test better had appeared for this test in 2022 and had scored 100 percentile as well as 100 percent in multiple subjects. You can see my scorecard here on your screen and here you can see that in English also had scored 100 percent as well as percentile. Now this was the structure of the English language test last year. Synonyms for questions, antonyms for questions, idioms for questions, reading comprehension. 18 questions, figures of speech, 4 questions, jumbled sentences, 4 questions, a word for a group of words, 4, analogy, 4, spelling error, 4. Alright, and out of these 50, you needed to attempt 40 in the given 45 minutes. This year also, you have to attempt 40 out of 50 questions in 45 minutes, but, 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 the structure has changed a lot. First of all, different structures in different slots this year all right some slots are getting disproportionately high number of questions from just one topic like in one of the slots there were five to six questions from active and passive voice almost all the test areas of the last year are there but you do not have as many questions on those areas as you got last year now grammar has been introduced in a big way and in most of the slots, they have asked you a couple of French phrases also. The new areas are active and passive voice, narration, that is direct and indirect speech, articles, question tags, tense, prepositions, French phrases, as I've told you already, sentences, exclamatory, assertive, imperative, etc., etc., and sentence correction. All right. Okay, the areas that already existed like figures of speech, poetic devices in the first shift on the very first day, you did not get any question from this, but the second shift had a few questions from this. Idioms, spelling errors, vocabulary, analogy. We are still getting questions from them as I told you earlier, but not as many. Last year, it was a standard structure from almost each one of these areas, you got Four questions. Now there are shifts in which you got just one idiom or just one analogy. Last year in every slot there were three passages of six questions each so 18 questions of reading comprehension but this year just two passages and that too of only five questions mostly and hey yesterday in one of the shifts one of the passages was actually a poem. It was the second shift, all right? Options are there to help you in a big way in this examination. And in fact, in many questions, three of the options are stupid, almost obtuse, all right? We shall look at them, all right? Okay, let's start discussing at least 45, 46 questions. Meaning of gratitude, okay? Are you grateful towards me? Are you thankful? Of course, gratitude is thankfulness. Meaning of sudden is sluggish. It is used in two ways. If someone is very wet, all right, is full of water on him, that is also sudden. But, 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 if your enthusiasm is sudden, figuratively that is, you would be sluggish. Synonym of the word frequent, isn't it very simple? Often, many people call it often, hostage. Have you ever been kept hostage? Have you ever been kept captive? Okay, analogy, come on, we get questions on analogy, right? Of course, similarity. Genuine means what? It means authentic. What else? What is the meaning of ecstasy? A state of overwhelming emotions? Match the following. Petrol, petrol, sight and sight. Have you watched the serial Crime Petrol, right? First is fuel, of course. The second is maintenance of security through observation cite to quote by way of example like i'm citing many questions here isn't that and cite the place of an occurrence again crime patrol 
Here, unfortunately, we have not been able to decollect the remaining two words, but these two words were definitely there. Rest, to take something away by force, and rest, relax, relax, we are there for you. Similarly, in one of the questions, one of the words was insipid, that is tasteless. In cricket also, at times, we say, what an insipid one-sided match, right? Gullible, easily duped or cheated, like you people are very gullible. There are many fools on YouTube who take you for a ride. Antonym of the word, spurious. What is spurious? Spurious is something which is not real, right? So, the antonym would be real. Antonym of the word smart. Hey, are you smart or are you an antonym of smart? Of course, foolish. Antonym of the word gratitude. We have already discussed the meaning of the word gratitude, right? So, antonym of the word gratitude would be thankless. A feather in one's cap means a new achievement. What else? Isn't that? Tour de force means triumph. Okay, this is one of those French phrases that I was referring to, right? Gift of the gab. You think I've got that gift of the gab? That is, that is the talent to speak well, all right? Vive la France means even if you do not understand the meaning of this particular phrase, just look at the options. Long die France. You need to be real obtuse in order to mark this. Short live France. You need to be an antonym of smart in order to mark this. Isn't that? Long live country. Come on, it does not even have the word France. So these three cannot be the answer. So what's the answer? Of course, long live France. So now onwards, you know that vive la France is long live France. There's one more thing. This vibe or vive is the root of life. Live. Okay? Vive Paris. All right, it all has this viv. All right, long live France. What is the meaning of the French phrase? Répondez, s'il vous plaît. Come on, we all use it. I repeat, répondez, s'il vous plaît. What does it mean? Look at it carefully. This is RSVP. At the end of a letter, don't you write RSVP at times? Though so it's old fashioned now. We hardly do that. Okay? It just means please respond. Okay, I will start putting this RSVP on the last slide of most of my presentations now. You're required to choose the correct meaning of the idiom given in capital letters in the sentence. His speech fell short of the expectations of the audience. Fell short. All right, moved the audience. You think this can be the answer? Because he felt short of the expectations, right? Impressed the audience, certainly not. Was quite short. This is funny, so of course had no effect. This only can be your answer. Choose the correct spelling. Why to even discuss this? Phenomenology, choose the correct spelling again. Philosophy, this is the correct spelling. Okay, choose the correct spelling again. Analogy, we have seen it already, right? Convert from direct to indirect speech. Sita said, I may go there. First of all, the moment you see said here and you see may here, right? Met the past of may and that would be might. That is there in only one of the options. Sita said that she might go there, right? This has to be your answer. Easy, isn't it? Convert from direct to indirect speech. Again, he said, I have read this novel. It means when he had said it, he had already read that novel, isn't that? So just put that as your answer. He said that he had read that novel. First of all, this have will certainly become had, right? Has, has, okay? He said that he read that novel. It means he used to read that novel, okay? So this also cannot be there. All right, so of course he said that he had read the novel. Convert from active to passive. He has sent me a present, right? So, a present has been sent to me by him. Isn't it very simple? Look at the next one. Change the following sentence again from active to passive. You are teasing them. Them. Alright, so now them will become the subject. They are being teased by you. Simple. This is the object here, so this will become the subject. They. 
right so this anyway is out of question but they is there in two of the options but here this is incomplete they were teased whom by you are teasing them they are being teased by you convert from active to passive we should respect elders so the object is elders so it should start with the elders right elders should be respected by us isn't that convert from active to passive voice people in egypt speak arabic so this arabic should be the subject now right arabic is spoken in egypt of course of course right so that is your answer convert from active to passive the girls ate a mango yesterday so this mango is the object should become subject now so mango is being eaten no come on a mango has been eaten by the girls come on a mango was eaten by the girls yesterday right straight away b now here figures of speech and examples oxymoron simile metaphor and hyperbole what is an oxymoron where you have immediately contrasting terms right so here pretty ugly all right simile in which you compare two things like if i tell someone you're a dog this is a metaphor but if i say you're like a dog this is an example of simile all right never forget this you're a dog metaphor you're like a dog simile do not use this say you're a lion metaphor you're like a lion simile so simile her expression was as cold as ice this is simile hyperbole she has got a p sized brain okay so of course this then metaphor her eyes were diamonds if you say her eyes are like diamonds that is simile but if you say her eyes were diamonds or her eyes are diamonds then that is metaphor what is left now nothing so you can get your answer oxymoron pretty ugly as cold as ice simile metaphor diamonds hyperbole p sized all right there is one more thing here the oxymoron example pretty ugly is actually incorrect okay because some moron has created this question i'll tell you why a pretty ugly woman here this pretty does not mean that beautiful pretty okay it means considerably ugly don't we say that is pretty clear to me do we mean it's beautiful clear to me all right so here this is certainly not an example of an oxymoron but the moron who was interested with creating this question somehow thought it is so this is an erroneous question actually which figure of speech is there like two peas in a pod like two peas in a pod so again we are comparing so it is simile you're a lion metaphor you're like a lion simile clear fill in the blank to make an imperative sentence when we say imperative that is almost commanding okay you do obey your parents no okay this is about a habit that you obey your parents you should obey your parents is not commanding you must obey your parents yes this is imperative right so your answer should be must the deserted garden was infested with weeds he will impart no information to anyone preposition right to anyone cowards die many times isn't it very common sensical before their death do we need to read anything in order to be able to do such questions making pies and cakes so what is the subject making singular right so here you should have is is mrs reddy's specialty of course is here this cakes is not your subject making pies and cakes is your subject making singular now an apple a day keeps the doctor away so we know that this has to be an apple my garden is looking lovely now that daffodils are in flower do i require an article here no it is the most beautiful this is most beautiful right so this is a superlative degree so of course the most beautiful i know a man depending on the situation you can say i know the man if you are referring to a particular person but i know a man is also absolutely all right so that is what your answers are a2 b4 c1 and d3 any doubt rearrange the following words to make a meaningful sentence 
This is not difficult, I believe. Exxon is the most precious of all metals. Is there any metal called Exxon? But anyway, this is just a question, so that is how we have to treat it. Rearrange the following words to make a meaningful sentence. Here the answer is, nothing ever happens by chance. Many people marked, nothing happens ever by chance, but ever should come before happens. Add a question tag. We are going to spend a bit of time here on this question. She attends classes regularly. Try to convert it to an interrogative sentence. Does she attend classes regularly? Right? Does she attend her classes regularly? Now, in order to add a question tag, if it is does, change it to doesn't. Right? So, doesn't she? That is your answer. Had it been, she does not attend classes regularly. All right, then the question would be, doesn't she? And then the question tag would be, does she? All right, so if there is no no here, you are supposed to put one. If there is a no here, you are not supposed to put any. Choose the correct option, changing the following sentence into assertive. What a delicious dish. While having a meal, you mostly say this, right? It just means the dish is delicious isn't that so that's the answer change this statement into an interrogative sentence we won did we win now the problem with this one is it has double passed won and did you cannot use both right all right change this statement into an interrogative sentence we have a fight on our hands do we have a fight on our hands that should be your answer do we have a fight on our hands, right? Okay, don't you think that most of these questions are of grade 6 level? Okay, grade 7 level. Identify the tense in the sentence. We have been waiting for them. We have been waiting for them is certainly present perfect continuous. Right? I have been waiting for you. He has been playing for the last 5 years. Right? All these are present perfect continuous. Any doubt? Identify the tense in the sentence. He eats with his left hand or right hand or with a spoon. Doesn't matter. Okay. He eats. Simple present. Do as many questions of English tests of CUET UG2022 as possible. And why so? It's not that they are not asking questions from those areas. They are still asking. But as I've already told you twice during the course of this presentation, that not as many. Last year, if they were asking you four questions of figures of speech, this time they're asking you zero or one, at the most two. And be on our Telegram channel because you get many past year papers of CUET UG there. And all these papers are curated and you get the answer key, absolutely correct answer key as well. If you like this effort, give us a thumbs up and share it with as many people as possible. But share it only with your friends, not with your enemies. They will also get benefited. Subscribe to CUET 100 if not done already. And press the bell icon so that we keep you updated on whatever we do for you on this channel. All the best.